One year into the war in Sudan, the precarious conditions and lack of aid is pushing the country to the edge of famine, according to humanitarian agencies. The IPC, a United Nations-backed global authority on food security, warned last month that immediate action is needed to avert a catastrophic hunger crisis in the country. The war has killed thousands and displaced over 8 million people. We stayed at home after the war until Id al Adha on July 12, 2023. After that, we moved from Khartoum and went to Libya market in western Omdurman to find transportation to Gezira state. And we suffered greatly. I stayed in Gezira state for eight months. My mother suffers from diabetes and high blood pressure and is facing a problem with the lack of medicines. Since the war began, food production has crashed, imports stalled and staple food prices have soared by 45% in less than a year, according to the United Nations. We suffer from many things. The most important thing is children. Children are suffering. Children need milk and diapers. Children need shelter and warmth. We also suffer from lack of medication and we have chronic diseases. With such huge numbers of internally displaced people across the country, regional support centers are struggling. For the first time in Sudan, this displacement of such large numbers has occurred in Kasala state and also in a number of other different states in Sudan. We host these numbers in shelter centers and we currently cannot provide services, especially in terms of health support. The UN has appealed to the international community for funds which remain critically low.